also in these films. It is that they are Lenny Riefenstahl and Tarkovsky or Beckett at the same time, which is precisely what makes them so important and so valuable. And it makes me think, if I can make that link also to current political situations, particularly in the Netherlands, um, that we seem, at least the media seems, I don't think we, I don't think we in the Nederlands of Volk have much to do with the media these days, but the media seems incapable of thinking beyond black and white. It seems to be incapable of thinking in ambivalence, in ambiguity, in uncertainty. Everything has to be solved or demonstrated to be unsolvable, rather than to deal with the problems of life as they occur and to live through them. And it seems to me really that art, the big word that really talks so wonderfully about, is one of the only means today where that ambivalence can still survive, where we can still find the answer yes but, or maybe, or perhaps, or probably, and not only the yes or no of the politicians, but also of the economists, of the business people, of the European, the dreamers of a Europe that has been so reduced now to the level of the arguments about the, 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 the currency. And so I think that, that there is a reason for institutions like this, and there is a reason for these kind of exhibitions to happen, which is far more important than we can perhaps really understand in our daily life. Um, and I hope that despite all the political resistance to an institution like another museum, that some of that quality of ambiguity and ambivalence can be allowed to survive in this country. Because if it isn't, then we are really in deep trouble.
the return returning to herself. <coughs> Something in the crypt of grief that cannot be expressed in words. My dead tongue hides something that was buried alive. I'm here to reveal the destruction of the understood for the The promised paradise has been privatized. The kibbutz apples and watermelons are no longer as ripe. We direct our appeal not only to Jews. We accept and foreign all those for whom there is no place in their homeland. The expelled and persecuted. There will be no discrimination in our movement. You shall not ask for your life stories. You shall not check the residence cards or question your refugee status. We shall be strong in our weakness. With one religion, we cannot listen. With one color, we cannot see. With what culture, we cannot feel. Without you, we cannot even remember. Join us, and, and Europe will be stunned. כי פולנים הם. הגרמנים סייגו בידכם להיפטר מרובם, מרובם. ואני בטוח ששנתם של פולנים רבים נודדת בפנת געגועים. רק פולנים מעטים נערערו בבכי כאשר אחרוני היהודים ששבו לבתיהם בקרקו, לוד, שוברשה, לאחר המלחמה, גורשו בפושת פנים או נרצחו. רבקה, אליה אתה כה מתגעגע, איננה ולא תשוב עוד. סלבומיר יקר, היינו זכאים גם היהודים למקום תחת השמש. רק תמימים גמורים יכולים לייחל לעולם טוב, שבו יימחקו מאות שנים של פרעות ושנאה. רק מי שאינו מבין כי מדינת ישראל היא מולדתם היחידה של היהודים באשר הם, ובלעדיה הם מופקרים לכל רוח. יכול להקדיש את חייו למשימה הנואלת של השבת היהודים לאירופה. עבורנו היהודים לא תקווה היא זו, אלא חלום בלהות.
ask you all to go back into the exhibition if you haven't seen it or go for the first time and to thank you very much for coming to Yalbatana's Open. Thank you.